And there you go, that's long division. Now, it's called the long division for a reason, right? It's, it is pretty long, and it's pretty easy to make some mistakes. And I don't want to admit it, but this kind of took me a few takes to get through, like, like you know, tiny little sign changes, nothing like that. So, sometimes, in some specific cases of division, what we have is something that looks like this, x plus 2, or sometimes, I don't know, x minus 8, x, x something. So, our if, if our d of x is equal, or just like written in terms of x minus, okay, not that it's minus, x minus k, use synthetic division. Now, now synthetic in science and everywhere means basically man-made, man fake, not natural, it's not real. Well, long division is basically natural. It's like the natural way to do more division. But synthetic division is more like a man-made version of this division. It's not fake, but it's quicker. It's like a work around, only it's not a work around. It's more like a work straight through. Um, this can be rewritten in synthetic, in synthetic division as, well not as, in, like something like this. Again, we see that we, our powers are cubed first and zero, and we're missing uh, x squared term in our, um, oh, what's it called, f of x. We have x cubed min plus zero x squared, important, and minus 4x plus 10, right? So, well, so we, of course, that's 1. So in, synth in synthetic division, we write down our first, our, our coefficient of each of these terms. So 1, 0, negative 4, and, ten, and just matching up all of the coefficients, right? And our um, d of x, or our divisor, because this has to be an x minus k, well, if x minus k is going to be equal to our x plus 2, the k is equal to negative 2, very important, it's negative 2. So we put negative 2 here. So basically, this is how we do it. Now, in some cases, like, you won't see these two little bars here, but this bar basically just means r of x, the remainder. And whatever we get down here is going to be the q of x quotient. And of course, that's f of x, and this is the d of x. So this first one comes down, and then we drop it here. So I'm going to, well, let's, let's keep this uncapped. I will use this pen so that we kind of more clearly see. So when negative 2 is multiplied by 1, so then we get the result, which is negative. We get the result, which is negative 2, right? And then we add these two together. We add to get negative 2. And then we have negative 2 times negative 2 again. I'm going to use a different kind of texture times negative 2 again to get the result, which is 4, right? And then, well, then adding together, we have negative 4 plus 4, which, oh my god, plus 4, which is 0, and negative 2 times 0, which is still 0, and then adding together, we have 10, right? And, well, this isn't really that necessary, but something like this. Like, you don't have to draw these blue lines and all that kind of stuff. But just to show you what basically happens in here. So, our f of x, which is x cubed minus 4x plus 10, can be rewritten as x plus 2 times q of x. Now this q of x 
is like basically working backwards from x to the zero, x to the first, and x squared, and, then, and you can keep on going on and on and on. So, well, this is one times x squared, and negative two times x to the first minus two x plus zero. So, just this is fine, plus r of x, which is plus 10. And then what we have after this is basically a rewritten form of x cubed minus 4x plus 10. Now, of course, why do we want to know all this division, right? Like, why do I have to use synthetic division? Why do I have to find the q of x? Why, why can't we just, you know, stick with the original polynomial? Well, this synthetic division, and sometimes a long division as well, all goes into finding, as well as factorizing, but like, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, like, a lot of it goes into finding an actual f of x. So, for example, 